everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So I'm starting this video a little bit differently. I am going to get into the tutorial to show you how to make this and I will put a timestamp up here on when that tutorial starts if you just want to fast forward. So today I'm launching a brand new collection. If for anybody that doesn't know, I have my own brand called Made to Surprise. That is over on a separate YouTube channel and I sell those products over on Craft Stash. Today I'm launching a new collection called Never Ending Cards. It's a style that's been around before, but I've just made these plates that just make it really easy for you to do. The card that I'm going to show you is something I've come up with using the dies, but I am going to show you how to make this without dies next week. OK, so for those of you that like my dies, this is, I think, a fantastic card style. I'm so excited about this one. But I know lots of you that follow me here on Mixed Up Craft, you like the tutorials where you don't need dice so I will show you that as well but that will come next week probably more towards the end of it as well but I will get it up this is what I'm releasing today so you've got a little stand here this is the five by seven I've also got a six by six which is more of a circle kind of style and I'll show you that briefly in a moment so you can display them on the stand um, I've launched it with a crafters themed stamps and dies so whether you're into soft crafts or paper crafts I have two stamp and die sets this is just showing you an example of the sewing theme and then you just turn the sides and it will reveal different panels so if you've got maybe like a funny sentiment you know a photograph of someone then you can add them onto here and then these fold down and then you turn it back around again this is one of my new stamps enjoy for a little and then recycle me again you can have these all decorated and then it takes you back to the beginning again and it just keeps going it's never ending so as many times as you want and I have got some more tutorials showing you other ways to use this this is just one example. So to quickly show you the new product for anybody who is interested, like I said, head over to my Mate Surprise channel to see more tutorials using all this. I've got a brand new paper pad called Crafty Patterns. You've got some lovely different designs there. I will be live on Craft Stash at 12.30 today doing some demos and going into more detail with this. So again, if you're on Facebook, come and join us over there. That will all be linked below. I've got two new embossing folders. You've got your stitch detail there which is five by seven, and then this one here. And some of you might recognize the images and I've actually got them on my desk. These are my actual tools. And now I've got them in little images. So you've got your desk hoover, you've got your little magnetic pickup tool, you've got the scissors, my bone folder, accent glaze. So they're all on there. And then these are the two stamp sets. So you've got your sewing and more. So that this is a stamp and die set all together. And then this one here, which is paper crafting fun, which I think a lot of you are gonna like. You can see there you got your accent glaze, your quick grab glue, which is what I always say, you got my mini dye machine there as well. Oh, I didn't bring that in. And there is the real deal. And lots of other images there. And then lovely new sentiment set with all these fun sentiments. And there's that one there, enjoy for a little and then recycle me. I like that one, craft, eat, sleep, repeat. And then this one's funny, weekend forecast and you can have sewing and chocolate or crafting and wine. <laughs> And there's loads of other nice ones on there as well. Accent glaze makes everything better. So I use it on every single card. And then these are those die sets. This is the five by seven, which is what I'm using to make this card today. And then this is your circular. And that's in a six by six. Both of them come with the stand. And there are more ways to use them. It's not just this way. And this card that I'm going to make is a good example. So launching today, head over to Craft Stash at 1230 if you're around. All of the links will be shared below. If you're watching this later on, maybe, you know, you're finding this a year later. I will have that all linked below so you can go and check it out. So let me just show you this one in a bit more detail. So this is what I'm going to call a multi-panel showstopper card. It's fantastic. Really, really easy to do. And I'll show you all of the steps. And then this one folds flat. These fold in and it will fold down like so. And that will go into one of my gift bag envelopes. And I'll have those linked up here. And they, this, this folds down to similar size to one of my showstopper cards. So they all fit in there as well. And they're, they're lovely little gift bags, just an alternative way. Or you could make a normal envelope as well. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So I've got the main plate here and I've cut that four times. OK, and then you've got all your mats and layers there. And I'll explain all those later. I'm also going to be using the paper crafting fun stamp and die set, the sewing paper crafting and more sentiment set and the crafty patterns paper. So first of all, just take two. I've gone over the score lines with my scoreboard just so they're a bit more easier to fold. And you're going to stick one over the other. OK, so I'm going to use the construction glue. It doesn't matter which one you stick over. I'm going to stick the left over the right. I'm just going to run my glue all down this section here. OK, and then just lay that one over the top. OK, now the side pieces, you want to fold those out. OK, 
okay and you want to make sure you give all these score lines a really good burnish each time you fold them now that is one card already you could have that you can see how it displays and you've got these three panels but in you know my kind of style we're going to extend it even more so i'll just break down each step i think that looks really cool like it is now you've got mats and layers to cover all the pieces but because we've stuck this one together this is a new panel so you do have to cut this one so this is a piece of three and a half by three and a quarter and then three and a quarter by three and using those sentiments i've put weekend forecast craft eat sleep repeat and that one is going to sit nicely in the middle so i'll stick that one down first Then you want to take another one and you're going to fold this side out and give that a good burnish and then you're going to stick this one on top of this one so it's folded back and you're going to stick it on there so you can see now how we've extended it out again now when i fold this down you're going to fold them behind each other so we're not making it even bigger okay so now i'm just going to add my glue all over this section When you lay it down flat, it should all sit nicely, you know, inside each section. That way, you know, you can, you know, good way to keep it nice and straight. Okay. And then do the same on this side. So you're going to fold this one out and then add your glue all over this piece. And then again, stick that one over the top. And the nice thing about this as well is when you're decorating it, you can see it all laid out and it's flat. I think this would look really cool with photographs. You could have a big birthday number or an anniversary celebration and then, you know, different pictures. I think that would look really cool. And if you've got really nice pattern papers and toppers, you can see this shape that we've got coming on. It's so fun. OK, then you've got your mats and layers for these sections. You can see they fit nicely in there. So you want to cut these four times, each of those. So I've got my crafty images there or paper crafting images and then I'm going to have the pattern paper at the very back there okay so I'm going to stick those down next then I've used these mats and layers for all of these sections and I've used the blending brush papers and I've cut them all the same and you'll see they fit into all of these sections like so and i've realized i haven't cut one for this section here so that's using these dies and i think i'm going to use a hot pink cardstock to go in the middle because i think that'll pop and it goes really nicely with this lime color so i'm going to get that all done next Okay, so there is the card so far. This is amazing. I just absolutely love the shape of this one. Now, in the set, you also get these dies, which will allow you to have angled edges rather than the square ones here, or the right angle. All you need to do is snip it off. Now, I didn't want the die to have them already cut off because then you were just limited on always having that shape. So with having the dies you can decide whether you want just the tops taken off you could have the tops and the bottoms maybe one up here and one on the bottom it, you know it's entirely up to you again you can see all of those different styles um, in the samples but what all you need to do is you're going to cut across the rectangle here so from that corner to this corner and then again at this end just cut right across like so and now that is the perfect size for your mat there and it just gives you another you know bit more detail now i will stick all those on in a moment i'm not going to do the bottom i just wanted to show you that style but here's your space where you can write your message or you know you've got all that space on the back there but to fold this one up all you're going to do is that and this will fit in my little envelope gift bags that I've got, which I'll have linked up here and they've got an aperture window. That's optional. I think that will look really nice in there. So you can see now by taking off 
the tops. I don't know, it just gives it a bit more of a streamlined look, I think, if I take off these ones as well. So I'm going to cut through both. So that one and that one. And again, as you can see how it's just changed the, I guess, top profile of the card. Just makes it, I think, a bit neater. So I'm just going to pop these on each side just so you get a little bit of that mirror card popping through. So I've just added those ones there. They just catch the light and just, yeah, a little bit more interest on the back. And then I'm going to finish it off with some of my accent glaze. It looks really nice on these images. OK, so there is the finished card. So the accent glaze is now all dry. You can see when it catches the light, it just gives you a really nice finish. I absolutely adore this card. I think it's fantastic. And I've got more ideas to expand this even more. I think there's just so many fun ways that you can uh, use this. I think it looked good as a mirror as well. Like, I don't know, a dressing room mirror. It's giving me other... What else do you see with this shape? I think it's really, really cool. So like I showed at the start, you just fold in the back and that will then fold down flat. That's going to look so nice in the envelope. So thank you for watching today. Like I said, I promise I will do a tutorial next week showing you how to make this without dies. But as always, for all of the product that I've used, you can find that linked in the description box below. It will also be just coming up here. So you can check it all out over on the Craft Stash website. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so then you won't miss out on the no die version of this being made. And then popping up here will be my fun fold playlist that you might want to watch later. Remember, I'll be live at 12.30 as well today and all of that is linked below. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.